we are back with another episode of Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. In the last episode, we well finally helped uh, Primarch Victus's son, Lieutenant Victus. <laughs> Though in the process, he sacrifices himself to prevent a war between the Krogans and the Turians. A bomb was planted centuries ago to prevent the Krogans from ever thinking about doing another revolution. Not another, another revolt. Rather, I mean, well, yeah, that. And also after that, uh, what was it? We did that, well, multiplayer-based map, a mission about a Cerberus team who've taken over, like, a planet to space cannons. And said we ended up using the cannons on the Cerber Cerberus, like Dreadnought up there. <laughs> anyway, in this episode, we are heading out of the to the DMZ, the demilitarized Krogan area, and to another planet in which uh, Rex sent out scouts there. Yes, we're looking for Krogan scouts. Anyway, that's where we are. That's what we're going to be doing. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. <laughs> soldiers out of our civilians? They don't have supply lines? How do you beat something like that? I'll let you know if you think of something. <laughs> Damn, yeah. You've got new messages, Commander. Nice. Commander? Alright, check this. Suspected indo indoctrinated factions. This dossier was compiled by order of the Citadel Council in response to... These look like big ones. Palladium Star, Lieutenant Tarkin Victus, oh, may not have been the most effective battlefield leader, but the, he sacrificed himself to spare millions of Krogans for certain death, from certain death. This is an action beyond the call of duty and worthy of the highest honor in Council Space, yet the classified nature of his assignment has meant his efforts have passed by without memorial. A recommendation for Lieutenant Victus to receive the Paladin Star would honor his memory. Of course. Authorize that. Oh, right, here we go. Victus. Uh, Adrian Victus. Red Year's Day Primer, but as a father. I've been advised that you're the one responsible for recommending Tarkin for the Paladin Star. Name of is ancient and our origins stretching back to before the unification wars greatness has often been linked to our name I shall grieve the loss of my son until the end but I would I don't regret the decision I made Tarkin sacrificed his life to spare a million others from the folly of our ancestors he made mistakes in command but in death his honor is untarnished thank you for this honor Adrian Victus Idiot. Just distress call. Ooh. Special trainer, trainer has discovered a weak signal being broadcast from a region close to the Citadel. After analyzing the signal, Specialist Trainer and I agree that it is a distress call. This would not normally warrant your attention, but there have been reports of pirates using distress calls. Mm, yes, yes. Names. They do not have the men spare. Acknowledge. Arya Talok, Cannon Father. <laughs> Situation I need you to handle immediately. Turn to maximum. Okay. Garrus. Damn this war. I received a distress call from Sidonis. No idea how it got through to me. He says the military is ignoring his distress call. Anyway, he's holed up in up on Invictus. Okay. I guess that's a mission, maybe. Liara. Oh. In your quarters. Okay. The Turians will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. 
Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. <laughs> Good observation, Joker. Commander. Okay. Shepard, you are staring. Hello, Shepard. So, Liara wants to meet us up here, okay? Let me squeak to my hamster. Yes. And feed my fish. Go on, send her up. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Oh no, the sad music. Come on in. Shepherd Thank you. There. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. Time capsule. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? You. Your own. Oh. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. <laughs> Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Yes. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? You know me well enough to fill in the yeah. blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. Well, I'll say Commander Shepard was born on Mindwar, but never let what happened there define him. Shepard could handle any weapon in the galaxy. The Alliance never saw a deadlier soldier. He was a soldier and a leader. One who made peace where he could. Yay! And it was a privilege to know him. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. Friend. So are you. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. <laughs> I like those little bits. They develop more of the characters. Oh, yeah, that's that. And they make me feel a bit sad. Alright, here we are investigating the missing scouts. Let's enter. And who to bring? Garrus. And I'd like to bring our. what do you call it? Our Prothean. Jevik. There we go. I've updated my shepherd's armor. Any updates, Shepard? He's got a visor. Our backup is waiting for us at the drop point. Arlak Company, Grogan Commandos. That's correct, mm -hmm. Shepard. They are an accomplished unit. Their decisive action in liberating a colony from Batarian pirates made them famous. Good to hear. Other than that, there's been no word from a team of Krogan scouts since they went through the Rachni relay. Understandable. In my cycle, we use the Rachni as living weapons. Weapons? They were only animals then, without technology. Violent, but useful. When they became a problem, we burned 200 worlds to stop them. We don't know much, but no Rachni activity has been reported. It doesn't make sense. We let that last Rachni queen live on the condition she disappear forever. Yes. She wouldn't risk everything to start a war. Just be ready for anything.
Yeah, shuttle just arrived. Better get moving, Team 2. See anything, let me know. Grunt? Shepard? <laughs> Shepard! <laughs> what are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Batarians off me. Didn't want problems with the Council while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. They're tough, think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. Sounds familiar, Grunt. How did you go from being new and unproven to your own command? It wasn't easy. When Rex put Arlac Company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. Thanks to you, I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. I was an equal. Nice. And being the strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored company. I bet some didn't like a tank-bred Krogan being in charge. I collected a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect me. That's good. You were a pain in the ass, Grunt. But if you're Krogan or half the soldier you are, we might make it out of here. Hey, <laughs> glad you're here to crack some heads, Shepard. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. A Rachni. Chance to face the old enemy? <laughs> Impossible to resist. Yes, you are the one. The Krogan who occupied my quarters in Normandy. Yeah. You left your mark. What? Who is this, Shepard? You shouldn't be so anxious to face the Rachni. They were formidable opponents, even to my people. <laughs> Ask me later. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. We don't know if the Rachni had anything to do with this. We're here to find the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. Sounds like fun. Just like old times, Grunt. <laughs> oh crap, that's... Our luck company! Of Move out! It's shoulder armor. Grab what you need, Shepard. Okay. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. Okay. Sounds good. Let's investigate the area. You camp there. Shut up. So I just give in Javik the same loadout as like me, as well as a uh, just a like Phalanx pistol. Right behind you. I don't know what it was called. Oh, Krogan's over there. Okay, can we talk? You ready to go? What did you do after the Collectors were defeated? I spent most of my time back on Tachanka learning what it was to be Krogan. In the lab where I was created, the lessons were like fighting with practice weapons. They had no bite, no impact. I needed the blood and pain. I made mistakes, but I learned. Nice. Tell me more about this company. Arlac means Eye of Wrath. We are named after the fierce Tachanka son. Rex handpicked us from different clans to show a united Krogan. We were sent because we're the strongest. That is actually really cool. A means to unite the clans. A single company made of different clans. Yeah. Did Warlord Okir imprint anything on you about the Rachni during your creation? <laughs> Okir ensured I knew of the Rachni. They are respected as an enemy. Everyone thought they were dead. Defeated by the Krogan. You prove that wrong. If they're here, 
My blood demands they die. <laughs> what happened to the scouting party? Looks like something dropped half their camp down a hole. Their shuttle must have been lost as well. They weren't going anywhere. Doesn't matter. We're here to find the Rachni and burn them out. Yeah, Alright, let's get going. Finally! Right behind you, Shepard. What could possibly go wrong? Everyone all right? Shepard! You in one piece? Looks like we're all okay. Keep in radio contact. On our way! Nice. All right. Didn't have... Didn't actually expect Javik to be talking. Well, I guess he can talk to us about the Rachni. Ahead of us. I see it. Oh, oh no. And yeah, I brought Garrus because... You know, he's an old buddy. An old buddy of... Grunt. Grunt. Got a body of a scout here. Been dead a few days. Yeah. If he has his weapon, grab it. You won't need it anymore. Is that webbing? Looks like it. Gotta preserve the ammo. <laughs> At that, I remember. Ooh, flashlights. And I see eggs. This darkness is going to make it a little harder, Shepard. Agreed. Everybody be ready. Movement. Anybody catch that? Confirm. Alright, nothing here. Eggs. I see something. Yeah, what is that? Sport parts. Oh, really? Come on, Shepard. Here we go. Careful. We need to be cautious. They're dangerous. Rachni presence confirmed. Modified and very dangerous. Finally, something to kill. Look at this. Nothing like here yet. Lost a Krogan to a really? sinkhole. Let's find out Bad why. way to go. Oh, 
got. The breeding ground must be here. The Reapers are protecting an asset of great significance. like we're finding another way out of here. Come on. What was that noise, Shepard? Sounded bad. Cave in. We're all right. Good. Didn't want to dig you out. That hurts my feelings, Grunt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's on this side? All right, just... making sure we could make it to the central chamber. Come on. Who was the leader of the previous... like a last message. He's asked that it be delivered to an Asari named Ereba on the Citadel. Ereba. If you know that, then you obviously didn't see my previous videos. <laughs> but Ereba is the Asari who I told her to go out and look on a date with a Krogan in Mass Effect 2. That is the Krogan. So sad. A large area, Commander. Expect trouble. Yes. Trouble enough to swap my weapon. The hell did they come from? Guys, come on, shoot down. Stay low. Don't let it get a bead on you. Yeah. 
is well hidden. I mean, it adds up. I agree. And they're throwing everything they've got at us so we don't reach the nest. Your shield so quickly. Oh, rats! I'm grunt. We ran into it too. The Rachni have backed off for now, but they can smell our wounds. Any worthy enemy would regroup and finish us. Soon. We're close, Griff. Those barriers were protecting whatever's down that path. We'll dig in here, kill anything that moves. Buy you some time. Right. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have ammo. <laughs> Krogan, get ready! That needs to be on a shirt. <laughs> Heads up, more eggs. Take it slow. <laughs> Japanese islands. <laughs> oh, damn, I, I just... I'm a history nerd. <clears throat> oh, the 
worst jobs being a flame trooper. Smell of burning flesh. What is that? And also having massive gas canister in your back. Right. We've located the central chamber. Good. We got your back, Shepard. <laughs> Locate the power node. Heavy torpedo. This is it, people. Yep. The enemy is as, as relentless as they were in our cycle. Stay focused! Reapers did this to you? Yes. The sour note of the machines is everywhere. What happened? I let you go back in Novaria. You promised not to interfere anymore. The Rachni were supposed to disappear. We remember. We 
kept our promise, retreated back through the relay. We started a new home. Beautiful children. Harmony. But the machines came. They heard our song. Their shriek of our notes drowned us out. They can't hurt you anymore. Yes, we understand. Can you still feel the Reapers? Can they influence you? We hear the machines, but they cannot control us. Remove this last shackle, and we are free. Yeah. The children return. They will destroy us all. Really fast. We're getting movement here. A lot of movement. Copy that, Grunt. Are you capable of fighting the Reapers? We hate the machines. We will fight for our unborn children. Really fast. She's badly wounded. She needs too much time to escape. Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here. Arlac Company dies. Is that clear? Oh, no. Listen yes. up. Arlac Company holds the Rachni off while the Queen escapes. We'll buy you some time. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. Damn you, Shepard! I'm leaving my team. On my way! Commander? That's an order. She's too valuable an asset to lose. Now get us out of here. Comes down that path. I'll hold them off. Get out of here, Shepard! First time I saw this, this actually made me cry. <laughs> First time I ever played this part. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> Cortez, we're the last ones out. Copy that, Commander. Shuttle is waiting. Yes. And yeah, when I saw this, I was really happy. <laughs> and still crying. Grunt! Anybody got something to eat? <laughs> situation commander this could have gotten complicated fast i hope you know what you're doing cutting a deal with the rachni queen we got burned last time i'm <laughs> trusting your instincts commander we can count on her support admiral 
I hope so. But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rachni troops and picked up some additional Krogan support. I call that a victory. I've got to get back to it, Commander. Watch yourself out there. Hack it out. Mm -hmm. Shepard, you made it out of there. Hell yeah. Sounds like I missed a hell of a fight. <laughs> it definitely did. It was bloody, Rex. We could have used you. Too busy talking rather than fighting. Feeling restless. A war going on and I'm stuck keeping the peace. I heard you made some kind of deal with the Ragnite Queen. If they get out of hand again, it's your ass on the line. Understood. I heard Grunt managed to get out of there with a few scratches. You could say that. We'll get him patched up, back in the fight. Good to hear. I should get back to it. Keep me posted, right. Shepard. Yes. And in that... Oh, wait, now. It's too early, I think. <laughs> Let's just see what new stuff we got, and see if anyone has anything to talk about. There we go, we got Rachni workers on the Crucible. Nice. Krogan got Grunt. It's about 15 war asset points. Arlac Company, or whatever is left of our lack. We could be on the front lines. Why have they got us guarding the door anyway? Who's gonna break <laughs> ranks right now? War makes people stupid. Besides, you talked with Moreau? Collectors invaded this ship and kidnapped the crew. Damn. Okay, I guess we gotta be ready for anything to come through that door. Yes. Got that happen. Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. Okay, nice. You know, my lab studied the Rachni. Long distance communication with no time lag, the ability to control workers, and at close range, the Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Yes. I'm glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long range communication without quantum entanglement, maybe when this war is over. Yes. <laughs> Uh, a Listeni smuggling network. Listeni are an, enig an enigma. <laughs> Man, it's difficult in Spain. Enigma. Okay. Beyond the fact that they are somehow related to the Solarians and banished from Citadel space. Whoa, what? We know almost nothing about them. The reason for their expulsion has been expunged from the archives as as has all data except records of their current activities. With our limited information, we know that they have a smuggling ring that lies within the terminal system. Spectre authorization would allow diplomatic channels to be opened to yeah, the Steni smugglers and allow legal entry into Citadel space in exchange for their help with the war effort. Uh, in exchange for their help with the war effort. effort. My god. This action is highly likely to upset the Solarian leadership. <laughs> Authorized me. Alright. Ah, Union Command Steni. We have learned of our negoti learned of our of your negotiations with Listeni, though it is your prerogative yeah, prerogative to forge these agreements, bear in mind that the Solarian Union will not honor your arrangement. Any Lysenny ship or individual that enters the An Anus, ba Anus Basin or our colonial uh, colonial systems will be treated as an enemy combatant. What the hell? We refuse to work alongside them in any war theater except for when the project is deployed. They are not to be trusted. Hmm. Nyala. Unusual communication. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just, just words. <laughs> Alright, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So, a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied <laughs> worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So, the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog, and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous! The Krogan says, You think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself! The implication <laughs> being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke plays to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. 
Stereotypes such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, well, yeah. It's also one of the only jokes you'll hear both Salarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. Hmm. Yes, I guess. How's Grunt? Our little tank baby's all grown up, huh? <laughs> Apparently he'll be on his feet and killing again in no time. Well, you learn from the best, Commander. Every time he incinerates someone with a shotgun and does that little laugh, he'll think of you. Edie says it was Rachni down there? Yeah. Yep. I thought they were on our side after you saved the Queen on Novaria. It wasn't her fault. She got captured. She's with us now. Until the next time the Reapers sing a sour yellow note of whatever. <laughs> what the hell? Shepard, I had a question about human behavior. Yes. Why is it you never have questions about Asari behavior or Turian behavior? I tried asking Liara questions about the Asari bonding process. She said I do not guard the secrets of the Normandy's crew carefully enough for her to entrust me with such private information. The Asari word she used translates as flabbermouth. I think she has become a more private person since becoming the Shadow Broker. Yeah, tell me about it. That's right. Yeah, what's this? This Danny. They just look like Solarians. Terminal the systems. This Danny is smuggling the container. Nice. Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five ex-Sonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax is part in instigating an illegal war on Garvuk. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Oh. Nothing new there. Uh huh. Monitor fit blog. I guess yeah. Scroll through. Oh, crap, it's too fast. Scroll through. There. Another one. Yeah. Email from Dr. Locked Admiral Hackett. Okay. Audio log. Grunt addresses new Arlet Company recruits. Oh, damn, yeah. <laughs> hey, Liara. I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a oh. little terrifying. Oh, sad. The Krogan are gearing up for a full-scale war. It's nearly indistinguishable from how they normally operate on Tuchunka, really. Yes. Thanks for coming by. Okay. Wasn't the first time I faced Ragnime. Really? You've seen them before? A few years back, on Novaria, Saren and his minions were trying to extract information from the Ragni Queen. You saw the Queen? Hell, we spoke to her. You spoke? I can't imagine that. The things you've done, sir, they're amazing. Well, it didn't seem that way at the time. Mostly, you're just clawing your way out of one mess and into another, hoping your ass comes along for the ride. Also, you weren't there the first time, Garrus. It was uh, Rex and Liara. Just one word, Shepard. Grunt. There'll be a lot more dead Reapers now. <laughs> yes. So, Rachni, that must get your mouth watering. Can't do a story. That's as classified as it gets. I suppose it would cause a panic. But wouldn't the news drive up recruiting? It might also piss off a Krogan with diplomatic immunity. No thanks. Yeah. Commander. Hello, Javik. Anything you want to talk about? Commander, I did not expect to face the Rachni in this cycle, but I am not surprised. You said you used them as weapons? Yes. Biological proxies. It was before I was born, but every Prothean had heard the stories. When we knew of them, the Rachni spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. But our scientists were more interested in their biology. The Rachni were well suited to harsh conditions. So we bred them for violence, selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. Then we unleashed them upon our enemies. For a time, it worked, until they became too cunning and warlike and turned on us. 
We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. Mm. Yes, and isn't that kind of like what the Salarians did with the Krogan? <laughs> there was no such thing as trusting the Arachni in our cycle. They were animals. But if they will fight the Reapers now, so be it. <laughs> I am glad I met the Grunt Krogan. Living in his quarters, I have come to know him better. He will fight the Reapers with great ferocity. Nice. I would prefer to be alone. Hey, Cortez. Wish you could have seen that gun on Tachanka firsthand. I cut the auditory emulators and watched that Cerberus cruiser gracefully and silently disintegrate. Beautiful. Sometimes I worry about you, man. <laughs> Everything is in order. Okay. Hello, James. Too bad about Tarquin. I was starting to like him. Rachni? Of all the things to... It's like you got the opposite of a horseshoe up your ass. <laughs> Grunt is crazier than you, and that's saying something. You're better looking at least. Nice. Hey. Ooh, new. Alliance Engineering Corps, and that's it. Yep. And... Ha ha ha. Breakfast. Perfect. This is where I'm leaving us off. In the next episode, we will finally go to the Changa and cure the Genophage. Cure the Krogan from the Genophage. Yes. So, so I guess, see you guys next time. Goodbye for now. Alt F9 and off.